it's getting more mainstream, more uh, more visibility around it, um, and and you know that was one of the big things was like the stigma of doing this. That was uh, kind of hindering me. And once I went ahead and did it, met some guys like you, and it's like, oh yeah, this is just cool. It's really fun. Well, I've been doing this for almost a year now. Um, at first I was just, before I had the van, I was just in my hatchback, trying to sort everything out, figure out what I was gonna do. Uh, it's one, 110 watt. So I've got the uh, cables coming down here into my uh, Yeti, the Goal Zero 500X. This here's my uh, little mobile Wi-Fi. I work uh, 40 hours a week from the van. So I've got my little table I set up, my little MacBook, Wi-Fi. Yeah, so the solar comes into the back here. I've also got the uh, coming off the car. So when the car's running, it'll also charge this. The 12 volt comes into my, uh, my fridge. This is, who makes this thing, Dometic? It's a 55 liter fridge, um, single zone, but it can make ice cubes. Haven't done it yet because okay. I keep my water at like 37 degrees in here anyway. So who needs ice? It's got the USB-C direct 12 watt. So that'll charge my, uh, my MacBook without needing the little adapter off this thing. And then it's got two USBs. Actually, wait, so two USB-Cs. That's pretty sweet. I didn't even know that. And then it's got these, you can cycle these off and on as you need them so they're not always pulling uh, energy, which is nice. Yeah, this thing's been awesome. Just plug and play. Didn't have to do any of the stuff you did in your van because I don't know how to do that stuff. Yeah, the flexible solar panel, I just it's just uh, a bunch of the uh, Sika Flex laid down and then sealed around the edge so the wind doesn't catch it. And then we had some tape and stuff, but I don't think we even needed the tape to uh, keep the wires down. So this section here is kind of like the living area slash kitchen slash office. Yeah, right? I just <laughs> pull this up. Um, I've got two seats here. Um, these were a factory. This was a, a passenger van. So I took out all the seats, but these three, these are legal for the kids to sit in. Um, so when we take trips and stuff. Mm -hmm. Last night we had this set up outside the van, had some chips and salsa on it. We're just enjoying the beach. Oh yeah. I've never had issues with this before. This I got from Target. It was like 20 bucks. So this, this was Ikea. I measured, I figured out what I wanted. I wanted to be able to stand up, work at a pretty nice level for when I'm cooking. I wanted it to be wide enough to house this thing, still enough to pass through and not so deep I couldn't pass through this way. I secured it to the, uh, the back of here. You can see I've got zip ties coming through that secure it to the anchor point. This thing isn't going anywhere. Um, on the transit vans, you can secure under here um, to the uh, the anchor points that have the the seats, which are also super, super strong, but that's overdoing it, and I didn't want to have to drill into the, the bottom of this thing. Right. These, I'll probably get ones that are hidden, those little magnet, magnetic key ones, but when I'm driving, I don't want them to, to pull out, because again, this is just Ikea, it's not made. Yeah, this is a mess. I need to get organization. That's what I need. Um, but I've got normal food stuff. I've got some of the, the pots and pans where I make my coffee. And then I've got a bunch of tools. Gotta go right over. The junk drawer? Yeah. That's just a kind of easy place to store the jack for the, the van. So this, I've got my water bottle that isn't going anywhere here. Fill it up just at the, uh, the filter, like 35 cents a gallon ones. It's not a big deal. Also got this REI, it's seven gallons. I store this all my, my work stuff. So I've got tape, post-it notes, pens and papers, notepads so that I stay organized when I'm working. And then back here, I put, I used the, uh, the honestly one of the, the most projects that I did that was like labor intensive was putting these things and the bed in. And those are all using RivNut. So I bought a RivNut thing, you just drill in. These are uh, rib nutted in. They're not going anywhere. I use that for a little privacy shield. And then the bed, I have the Ikea, um, I don't know what the Ikea name is it. It's always Swedish. Uh, but it's the rails that expand and they go right across and they're drilled straight into the van. And they adjust based on length and stuff. So 
no matter, right? So it's a little um, wider here than at the other point, but uh, it's pretty easy. These just, uh, the expansion joints here, they slide in and out to fit. Did some um, plywood, which is super expensive right now. <laughs> so that wasn't very fun. And then just a mattress and sleeping bag. And then what'd you do for the window coverings? That's Reflectix? Oh yeah, it is. Um, and then I, I, first I had some black, um material on the outside that i glued and that expands at different rate in the heat than the reflectix so i ended up just spray painting it on the other ones and that if that's held up well I need to figure out a way to get it to stick a bit better i'm going to use suction cups i think that you were showing me so it sticks better even through the heat then i've got all my storage this stuff's all temporary right now just went to target these are like 20 bucks so it's really easy way just to like get myself going um these are also from ikea See, I've got a ton of storage back here. I've got a four-person tent. This is the fan that we're going to be putting in, um, hopefully before it gets too hot. I've got the electric bike that we made, and I'm going to be able to, once I do permanent stuff over here, I'll be able to have my surfboard right underneath. So surfboard, bike, rollerblades. What else do you need? So if we uh, go out the back. Tons of space. Yeah. That's, that was the whole point of, of going up high. I only really use this for sleeping. Occasionally I'll be playing video games using my uh, my little wedge pillow. But for the most part it's sleeping. I left myself a little ledge here so I can put stuff. This guy is super fun, comes in and out really easily. I wanna get a hook to help hold it up like exactly where I want it a little bit better. But yeah, we're gonna be doing some work. Right now it's basically a no build build other than drilling these four parts for the, uh, the Ikea harnesses was the, the most work by far but other than that it's stuff that i can just build with a screwdriver and things not a lot of work needing to do and uh go from there so why did you choose this van so i've had fords for a while the c max just love it really really good car trust the engine the suspension and then the transit i mean they've been making these things since the 70s they're one of the most popular service vehicles around the world so I was like, well, they're not gonna make a new one and have it just suck. So let me let me look up the reviews. Everyone says it's really reliable, cheap to run, cheap to service, um, lots of good features. Like if I want to, these things will swing all the way out to the side. I'm gonna put some storage in here, little workbench that folds up, really uh, maximize the space. How are you liking this van life? You know, it's pretty stuff. fun. I love the flexibility. Everyone at my work thinks I'm either awesome and they're envious of me or they think I'm crazy. So it's kind of polarizing. But I've, I've had a lot of people who are just like, oh man, I wish I could go back and do something like this. Or What about your family? What do they think about it? My kids freaking love it. They're just like, uh, my, my son, he, he has a little bit of a speech impediment. So he can't say Papa's van. So he says, taco van? Taco van is the funniest thing. It's like, yeah, taco van's here. Taco van. One day I'm going to make him tacos out of it and it's going to blow his mind. Uh, but yeah, they love it. We're excited to start taking trips now that COVID's gone. Uh, or at least California is doing well and open. We can go to some campsites and stuff. Well, I know that you work 40 hours a week. I do. At the office in the front over there. <laughs> uh, is my Wi-Fi working? Sweet. I'm on a Zoom. I'm on a Zoom. For me, it's like, Perfect. and this was something I tested out, right? Like, it was important for me to be able to stand up. And I've got, you know, sandals on with a little bit of a lift, and I can stand and just be fine. And you're 5'7"? I'm, I'm just under 5'7". Oh, okay. Probably shrunk a little bit. <laughs> it all went this way. <laughs> but see, like, I can stand up here, I can change, I can do stuff. And if someone wanted, like, oh, I don't need that, I'm fine if the bed comes right here, get the shorter one. Save yourself, like decent chunk of change to be honest it's been very little like i could do a whole thing here and have this be like this big elaborate kitchen setup and it's like i just don't need it in fact i probably could have gone with a much smaller fridge yeah there are little tweaks like that um go for a, a cheaper fridge i love this thing fitting my needs it's, it's more than i need before i had the van i was just in my hatchback trying to sort everything out figure out what i was going to do a lot more times of solitude then it was covid like i'd come down to the beach and there'd be nobody here just sitting at night i, I love when it's not too cold and everyone's left the beach just go walk down it's it's so awesome but like you said i'm busy i'm working 40 hours when i'm not working i'm seeing the kids the kids are actually 
just on their way they're gonna meet me here and we're gonna go play in the beach for a little bit so that's pretty cool but uh whenever i'm not around them or working it's it's just the freedom of being wherever i want to be right if i want to go uh to a show in los angeles i can just be like cool i'm just gonna go drive there meet a friend for dinner go to the show and uh stay in Los Angeles for the night, right? Yeah, so you before you said you had a Ford C-Max hatchback. Yes. And how long did you live out of that thing? That was, what, like four months? Four months. Yeah, four months. I make I make slow decisions, right? It was like, I, I, I want to get out, separation, all that, like, just get out on my own. And uh, I had a sweet little setup. I, I could sit up. I had a surfboard laying across. It was like my desk and storage area. It wasn't too bad. And I'm short, so I was able to sleep in the back with all the seats folded. Yeah, so this is the medium roof, right? This is the medium roof, yeah. Um, the high roof, you add like 10K for the high roof. Uh, I also looked into the shorter ones, but I really liked the idea of being able to like step behind the seat area and stand up and have that as like extra storage area. Also the depth, um, the bike even folded up like this would have a hard time fitting behind the uh, the rear seats there in the not longer wheelbase. Um, that was one of the big reasons why I went with the long wheelbase, even though it's significantly expensive and there aren't as many on the, the market as the, uh, the, the 150 model, which doesn't have the extra three feet. The pitfalls are, it's a lot more expensive than you think, man. It's just, you, you think like, this is how I'm gonna live. I'm never gonna buy anything else. I'm set and it's like, oh man, but I don't want to make something on my stove tonight. I just want to like order order out or ooh, I, I'd like the van life even more if I got a more expensive bike or whatever it was. I think one thing that a lot of people might struggle with is the daily setup that I think I did well. And one reason I designed my van is I don't want to have to like do a three minute, four minute, even a 90 second process to get my bed set up and then unset it up during the day. Yeah. Um, I'm too lazy i'm gonna end up one day i'm not gonna fully set up the bed i'm just gonna sleep on it like it was a couch and that's just it i'm never gonna use it as a bed again yeah uh, so that's why i've got like the stove is just a stove i never have to touch it other than like flipping it open um the bed is just a bed the the seats are just a seats it's uh really low maintenance day to day yeah, it's nice you have the luxury to have that space so each thing could be it's one thing yeah absolutely and it was you know the initial uh cost like this thing after taxes and stuff was was a little under 20k um financed like that's not too bad month to month but again i've got a job that a lot of people don't have they might not be able to afford that and uh it's those little compromises of are you going to enjoy this if you have to like spend a bunch of time setting up if you want to eat setting up if you want to sleep setting up or taking down if you want to go drive somewhere like I just close these things up and go and, and I, I like that easiest thing to get into van life what should people do uh, find a vehicle you trust and then just make shift from there until you get the permanent stuff right go get these things from Target they'll be fine keep them down with zip ties and stuff and then you can start to make it look like the people on Instagram <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not gonna happen day one right yeah. and if you feel comfortable with the uh, the cargo vans do the cargo vans if you feel like you're gonna need the the actual passenger seats then do that there's there's not one solution but really go through and figure out what it is that you're gonna want to need it for and then design around that because there's a lot of awesome designs out there that are like I couldn't use that whether it's the work or the, how I want to store my stuff and have room for a bike and a surfboard, or if I'm going to want to take my kids around, it's like, well, that's just not not possible. Yeah. So find what, what you're really going to need it for, not what other people need it for, and then customize it to that.